the issue of security or insecurity in Nigeria, the, the House of Red Speaker himself has spoken out again now, and this time he's saying, look, from all the things that we're seeing, all of the killings across this country right now, it's, it's virtually a war-level situation that we're dealing with. Was somebody in the office, somebody in the person of the Speaker of the House of Representatives speaks in that manner and makes such a remark, what message does it send to you as a Nigerian in particular? What we face is moved from a threat to an existential one. Mm. The, the Nigerian nation today is faced with an existential threat. Mm. And all this is self-inflicted, self-constructed, self-designed. That is the failure of the state to provide security for the lives and property of those who own those lives is a total failure of government. The first responsibility of government, the first responsibility in governance, whether in the political or associate or as our allied state, is the provision of security of lives and property. Oh. And if Nigerians are getting killed by the gross, if Nigerians are getting assassinated, because these are, assass these are execution style assassinations, Nigerians are beheaded, kidnapped, reduced, bombed, either by government or by rogue elements, it is a time to sit back and tell ourselves the truth. Now, what is the truth? The truth is we are a race on its knees. Nigeria is a failed state. But, 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 but it's a terrible thing. A, a, a lot of persons have said that mm -hmm. uh, the indices of a failed state, mm -hmm. in the case of Nigeria, for example, mm -hmm. have not been altogether established. Uh, so what, so what, how do we make sense no, of that? No, what constitutes a failed state? Maybe you want to talk to us okay, about Okay, beautiful. It. You see, people just, um, we just sit down for a palo, be a palo, just the talk, just the talk. Sorry, I'm going pigeon. So that Nigeria, I mean, all of us understand that. What are the indices of a failed state? Any state where a non-state actor begins to dispense authorities of state is a failed state. That is, when persons who are non-state actors, that is, they're not the police, they are not the army, they are not the navy, they are not any of the instruments of state security, begin to append, dispense policing or constabulary roles, even up to vigilantes, and you have persons saying, sit at home, and everybody sits at home, but these persons have absolutely no legislative, executive, or judicial powers empowered to them or given to them by the constitution is a fair state. Now, when people are using other means of marketing, butter, trade, that is not regulated by state, is a fair state. When everybody has capacity to carry guns, irrespective of state security restrictions, is a fair state. When the government cannot respond to, provide for, the security of even those in government, when the convoy of a state governor is restricted, attacked, bombed, and to date, not a single person has been arrested for sin, is a fair state. All the indices of a fair state, I'm not talking about the psychosomatic interactions now, oh. or the social interaction, or the cultural ethnocentric interactions. Okay, I be Yoruba, I be Bini, I be... Those ones have not brought them into play. When in a particular milieu, a geographical state, a, an expanse of land that has one nationhood and one law, a Nigeria, for example, and you cannot transverse from one point of it to another without taking into consideration your ethnicity, your wealth, you have to be poor now to travel on the road so that there will be nothing to steal. There will be nothing to kidnap you for. But can any of these big men just enter Moto now from Benito to Abuja without hordes of police escorts who are so not safe? Come on, man. Let's wake up and, 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 and smell the coffee. It, 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 Every indices of failure, of apparatuses of state to function as determined by the constitution and other norms of state and other infrastructure of state that gives state credence. Oh. Once they crumble, the state has crumbled. What has, however, yes. different in Nigeria is we are a very peculiar people. If Nigerians were not Nigerians, or if all these things happening in Nigeria was happening somewhere else, it would have been a much more aggravated situation. Every Nigerian, we are resilient. We are the only people who will spray minted money at birthday parties, even when banks are on strike. We are the ones who will buy new fuel guzzling SUVs when the petrol ref refineries aren't working and petrol stations are closed. That is our nature. Incidentally, Dr. Obaseki, in the meantime, I want to say thank you so very thank much you, uh, for coming on the program thank and sharing you. with us uh, this you. morning. That's what we're leaving it with this interview. We're back.